How to install mods for the game DEFCON Everybody Dies. It's very simple to install mods. They come in zip folders. Z dot .zip at the end of the file name. And that means it's zipped and you have to unzip it. Some are RAR, R-A-R at the end, extension files, and it's the same as zip, it's just different. And you gotta unzip the RARs. And you can unzip it, when you select unzip, you can just tell it to unzip it directly into your DEF CON mods folder. Or you could unzip it yourself and then just drag and drop it into your mods folder. Okay, where is your mods folder? Go to your computer on a Windows 10 PC. You want to bring up your file explorer and go to this PC. Then you'll see your devices and drives, and you'll see one Windows C. You want to click on that. So you're going to your PC, you're going to your Windows C drive. Then you're going to go to your Program Files folder, which is Program Files x86. It's most likely where you installed it. You could have installed it into Program Files. You probably installed it into Program Files x86. This is the game, your DEF CON game. Then you want to find your folder called DEF CON. This is where you got to create a folder. You right click, go to the bottom to where it says new, right above properties. Hover over that and go up to the top of that. Next window that opens up and it says folder. You want to click that. And you want to name that folder Mods, M-O-D-S. Now every mod for the game goes into that folder. You can have an airplane mod. You can have a different sort of look to the, the nukes. You can have entire map mods in there. You can unzip your mods into there. And they're all in their own folder. I've got one here for the Asia map. So it says Asia on it. So I click on that. And within that, it says data, mod, screenshot. And data is a folder. So there's a data folder, a text document titled mod, and then a picture titled screenshot which is saved as a BMP file. So what are these? The data folder contains the mod. You gotta keep clicking to go through into it, but I'm gonna go through step by step what all these are. The mod is what the person who made the mod created. It's optional, you don't need it. I'm gonna open it with Notepad and it just shows the name, the version, the author, the contact, the person who made the mod, and a comment about it. It says, a mod for playing in Asia. Name is Asia, version 1.0. Author is Lee Sing. So this shows up when you click to launch to activate a mod in the game. On the window, underneath the screenshot picture, it shows name, version, comment so that's all that is and you don't even need that it'll just be blank if it doesn't exist if you make your own mod the screenshot if you right click and go down to the bottom of the properties click over on the tab to details is 210 by 118 dimensions for pixels and the bit depth is 24 it has to be saved as a bmp that's screenshot.bmp or it won't display. That's how the game reads it, as a BMP file. All these files are BMP files. Every mod 
is a BMP file. Alright, so if you look at the top, it'll say Windows PC, or say this PC, Windows C, Program Files x86, DEF CON Mods, Asia. Now I'm going to click Data. Within Data is Earth and Graphics. These vary depending on the mod. Since this is just the Asia map, it only has Earth and Graphics. If it was just a bomber mod, there would only be a, a folder for graphics. And then in the graphics is the map, territory, water. And that's the actual mod stuff. The visuals for the mod. And then in the earth folder is some more visual stuff. And then there's three documents for the dots that are on the map and the lines that are on the map. Cities is the dots, coastlines is the lines, and international is the borders that you can turn on and off for the map. So that's Asia mod. What about uh, a fighter mod like the F-14 Tomcat? It just has a screenshot. There's no text document, the data folder, graphics folder, and then there's the fighter and fighter blur. If you don't have a fighter blur, It'll just use the default game's fighter blur picture. So, a little bit in depth there. It's pretty simple. Program files, create a folder called mods, put the mod folder in there. I'm looking at my mods folder and I've got 42 mods in here. I've got fighters, bombers, explosion clouds, maps, battleships, radar, uh, style mods, population mods. You could do GUI mods. That's that toolbar on the bottom. Um, Middle Earth is an extensive one. It's got graphics, GUI, language, and styles within its data folder. But anyway, short answer is go to your PC, click on your hard drive, Windows C, most likely, Program Files x86, find your DEF CON folder, then there's a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, create a mods folder. Once you do that, the mod should just be ready to go once you unzip it or you unzip it into this folder.